Welcome to Daniel Family Productions. Yo, 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 I'm the cheese bro. Walking into the store, we're greeting a medieval theme of beer, cheese, more cheese, particularly cheese curds, root beer for those of us who don't drink all that much, and some stuff I've never quite seen before. There's also plenty of time just to mess around with some of the cool things that we saw. This is the funniest thing in the world. What? It's what? cheese made of a cow and it's cheddar cheese. Mm. The funniest thing, and it's the shape of a cow. The cow goes... In the mouth. We got the little hoot here, which reminds me of a certain owl mascot for a language app that I use called Duolingo. Como se dice cheese in espanol? These are like the most terrifying mice ever because they're Tails are literally made out of knives. And if you're not a beer connoisseur, they also have soda and root beer. And you got this retro root beer here. It's kind of actually a kind of personal story with this here. I just remember uh, years and years ago, you know, my introduction to this was actually going to uh, some dive bar restaurant, bar and grill in Milwaukee, uh, near downtown Milwaukee. Uh, about 10 or 20 years ago, so I was doing an uh, interview for uh, internships in it uh, while I was in college. And so, and they served this with the burger that I had, and I just remember it being very, very good stuff. So, if you ever come across it, be sure to get some. We also had lunch in their food court where we got some cheese, of course, along with some dang good root beer. So, I highlight a few of the items that we got. Uh, we got the, the kids here, we got uh, Joel and a grilled cheese. Uh, we got my, my lovely bride and Angie, uh, the, what they call the Castle Deluxe Burger, which is basically looks to be a burger, some cheddar cheese, looks like some pickle, a tomato, and lettuce. Eat. Sometimes it comes with onion. She doesn't like onions, so. Um, ben got a corn dog, which we'll showcase in a later photo. Um, and as well as that, they all got fries. Now, what I got, though, okay, our beautiful French fries here looks look pretty darn good. Now, what I got was uh, they're one of their special burgers which is the, the Yuper Burger. And then what the Yuper Burger is, is basically a third pound of, uh, of beef with uh, fried onions on, underneath there, you can see that, along with their stadium sauce. And then what they do is also take some fried cheese curd and you know, kind of grill it a little bit and then put it on, on a pretzel bun. So, let's see what we got here. If I can keep it together here without making a complete fool of myself. Pretty good burger. You got the sauce that comes through. Definitely taste the, the fried onions on that. Cheese curd's kind of a little hit, but that might be because of the uh, the pretzel bun. But it's it pretty good burger. When you go to a place like this here in Wisconsin, and you go to a place that sells cheese like Mars Cheese Castle does, you of course they're going to be selling something what they would call the world best cheese curds. Basically, if you're not familiar with a cheese curd is, it's kind of like the, the byproduct of when they're making a uh, regular uh, you know, roll or, or you know, slice, the sliced cheese that we would eat on a normal basis here. And so, and this is kind of the byproduct, and they take that and they uh, and then you know, mix it together there, and, you know, wait out all the water from it. And then in this case here, fry it up. So. That nice squeaky cheese there. You can see the inside there if you pull that out a little bit to you there, and then. But this is good, good cheese curd. Good batter on it. And so now, 
the moment of truth. Okay? Then, as I mentioned at the beginning of the, our program, not a huge fan of cheese. Okay, correct? Yeah. That, would that be correct, sir? So, get something here. Oh, there you go. This is a nice little one. Alright, so he's going to try this and give it a good, honest effort. So I just take a nice, good bite and see what he has. What do you think? Yay, nay. It's interesting. Do you like it? Kind of. Yeah? Here, kind here. Of. here finish that one for a little while and see what. See if you can. Alright, take a bit of Now, with Joel, Joel's also green. I think this one just volunteered. So, we can go ahead and switch over to Joel. Alright, and stick nice. What do you think, Joel? That is so good. Yeah, you like them? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and finish it, man. We'll get you more. Alrighty. After lunch, we had some opportunities to check out some of the non-cheese items, including wine, baked goods, and some of the more fun stuff. This is the holy trinity of Wisconsin. Cheese, beer, and brats. I think I might move up here. Are you officially converting? Are you now a cheesehead? Yes. Even though you're born in Iowa? Oh well. <laughs> yo, 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 I'm the cheese bro. And bust a rhyme, cheese bro. Yo. Well, that wraps up our trip here to Mars Cheese Castle. Uh, just a quick review of that. You know, a lot of the, you know, we saw a lot of cool things here. We saw uh, what I like to call the Holy Trinity of Wisconsin, uh, the beers, brats, and cheese. Uh, enjoyed a you know, nice little lunch here. Uh, wasn't what I thought it would be. Only, I mean, it's still a store. Uh, you know, the salt, you know, able to buy some cool things as far as the, that Holy Trinity is concerned. Um, and some, you know, cool souvenirs. They didn't have the samples that I thought they would, but then again, I think that's largely because we're still in the middle of the, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. So hopefully that'll get back to normal at some point in the future, um, if and when we do come back. And so, uh, you know, it, just, it was a fine trip and we, we enjoyed ourselves. So on behalf of Ben and Joel, I'm Rob. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video and you'll know, tell us what you think and so thank you again and have a great day